you know, the similar mechanisms of action are for muscle recovery or reducing exercise damage. I put them here as just a list for you, nothing, nothing yet we haven't already looked at. But it does improve recovery from, in, from injury. And this is a big one here. Okay, that's another thing. It's, it is used for injury quite often. That's why we put football players on it. That's why we put, you know, other athletes on it. If you can recover faster, in other words, it takes 12 weeks for an injury, we might be able to get it down to 10 by using creatine in there. Uh, and of course, the post-exercise ingestion, the it enhances the regeneration process through, obviously, less inflammation, no different than icing yourself to a certain extent, and oxidative stress, okay? And it supports calcium homeostasis, which we looked at earlier, obviously. And also in, basically improves the anabolic environment, including the hormone and satellite activity that we talked about. So the same mechanisms are involved in building uh, muscle from creatine's the advantage of using creatine as they are in reducing muscle damage. But the benefit, a more complete or enhanced recovery before each bout of exercise. That's pretty much the obvious.